In this neighborhood market, not far from Malaysia's capital, you see the battle for voters play out. A candidate from the ruling party coalition reminding his constituents of long ties. Yeah, my message is uh, I'm a local boy. Uh, I grew up here. I've been with these people more than 35 years. This is the party of Prime Minister Najib Razak. Despite years of impressive economic growth in Malaysia, led by Najib's party, the ruling coalition is facing its toughest fight ever. Voters are concerned about crime, the cost of living and corruption. And despite recent political steps toward reforms pushed through by Najib, it hasn't calmed the calls for change. Government is too corrupt. I thought like that. So you have to change. The Prime Minister and his party are warning that change could be catastrophic for Malaysia. But in this election, there's been an influx of young voters, voters who aren't afraid of change. And young people have opened the floodgates of debate through social media. Uh, almost 80, 90 percent of those under 40 have access to the net. And therefore, they have access to information coming in from both sides of the political divide, unlike their parents or their elders who tend to have to rely on the mainstream media that's pretty much uh, following the government line. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of change. Not so sure what is it, but uh, yeah, looking for, forward for a change. Closely following the ruling coalition candidate, the opposition mines the same market for voters. This is the daughter of Malaysia's opposition leader, Anwar Ibrahim, a former deputy prime minister. Anwar's daughter scoffs at government warnings against change. And for me, uh, all these care-mongering tactics will, will not go far. Voters are more discerning and more wise. Malaysia still votes largely along ethnic lines, and the government has strong support among the majority ethnic Malays, who have long received favorable treatment by the government. What you want to change is everything is, is good for me. It's okay. For me, lah. For every, for and other people, I don't know. Lah. <laughs> Thank you. This election will determine whether one of the world's longest serving governments can keep its hold on power. Liz Nisla, CNN, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.